Hello everyone and welcome to Battletech. This is a game I've been looking forward to for quite a while since the Kickstarter for it. Um, I'm a huge fan of mech games and I'm a huge fan of uh, RTSs. So this game just takes both and goes, yeah, here you go. This is a gift from the god, basically. Um, I am a bit salty because I tried to stay up like all night to play it and it ended up coming out at 12 uh 12 30. so um there was no reason for me to stay up but it's here now so let's just play it and it's not responding uh, are you kidding me hmm And it's back. Got to give it some time. And it's not responding. Come on. Okay, it's back. Okay. I am Kamea of House Arano, High Lady of the Oregon Reach, Protector of Koromadir, and the Sword of Restoration. But I am not a hero, no matter what the stories say. A hero would have sacrificed more, compromised less. A hero would have done better. You know this, of course. You were there. My father used to tell me stories about the ancient times, about the Star League, a golden age of prosperity, upheld by the great mech warriors of old, oh guardians my God, of late. the innocent, protectors of the peace. I always dreamed of following in their footsteps. I was too young to see the truth of things. After all, it wasn't heroism or a noble cause that won me the throne. It was hiring a mercenary, skilled enough, perhaps ruthless enough, to carry the day. Hiring you. I still don't know if you fought for honor or for the thrill of it, for belief in my cause or just in my money. But whether it was your noble heart or mercenary mind, your actions gave us hope. That makes you a hero in the eyes of history. Whether you believe it, that's up to you. All right, guys, uh, that was the end of the game. Thanks for joining me. Oh, oh so it starts at the end. Welcome to the Reach. Small kingdom in the wind world. Oh my god, guys. I I cannot pronounce all this stuff. Um, the region of space that lies in the outskirts of the more densely colonized inner sphere is home to the Aragan Coalition, a federation organized around a... Oh my god, I'm making an idiot of myself. Preliminary monarchy and ruled by the Arano family for three generations under the rule of House Arano, the oh, coalition has remained relatively peaceful in the corner of the. Okay, so let's. Game's a bit loud. I'm gonna turn it down just a tad. There we go. Okay. So here's our story begins. Oh, we gotta click next. My background. Oh my god. The Sigoli family came to the reach from the Draconis Combine. Mech warriors who hail from the Combine tend to be fierce, disciplined, and relentless fighters no matter the odds they might face on the battlefield. 
Although the Draconis Combine is ethnically diverse as any of the vast interstellar, inter, interstellar empires, it's also one of the most culturally homogeneous. Over centuries of rule, the founding of House Krultia Krul has succeeded in uniting the people of Combine into a single culture, one heavily molded around medieval Japanese society. While some, most notably the descendants of the conquered principality of Ralslagu, uh, continue to chafe the uniformity of the Draconis society, overall this created more cohesive populace uh, and military than seen in the other great houses of the Inner Sphere. So I'm thinking of going to this one already. First of all, dragons are awesome. Second of all, Japan. Japan is awesome. So, maybe. The Free World League. Mech warriors who hail from the Free World League tend to be passionate, enduring fighters who value justice and equality above all else. The oldest and theoretically most democratic of the great successor states of the Inner Sphere, the Free World League is actually a broad coalition of m many minor noble houses. For most of the League's history, it has been ruled under martial law by a Captain General, who by tradition is, fr is from House uh, Mark? Mark? Mark. The culture, diversity, and relative independence of this component regions are at once the greatest strength of the Free World League, and is the greatest weakness. Oh my god, there's so many. The F Federated Sons. Mech warriors who hail from the Federated Sons tend to possess more finely honed skills and better equipment than their counterparts from other regions of space. They often see themselves as righteous warriors and champions of liberty, sometimes to a fault. Though nearly extinguished by the Draconis Combine in the First Secession War, the Federation Sons, a constitutional monarchy ruled by the renowned House Dev Devon, has become arguably the most powerful of the five great successor states. Though skillfully, skillful military campaigns and subtle, subtle, ugh, subtle diplomacy, House Davon has significantly increased the number of star systems under its control in the last two centuries. Alright, so this is the first one it doesn't interest me. The Lyran Commonwealth. Mech warriors who hail from the Lyran Commonwealth, Commonwealth tend to be hardy, well-equipped, well-trained, though they have also earned a reputation for not being particularly strategic thinkers on the battlefield. Wealth is the greatest strength in the merchant's principle. <sighs> Wealth is the greatest strength of the merchant princes of the Lyrenth Commonwealth, ruled by House Stangler, Slangler, by a number of humiliating defeats in the first two secession wars. The Lyrenth Commonwealth has bounced back thanks to the combined strength of its economy, the biggest of the five great successor states, and its control of the Inner Sphere's largest fun functioning battle, uh, battle mech factories. What is the Lion Commonwealth may lack in military prowess, it makes up for in raw numbers and injury scales. Again, I don't really care about that one. The Kapalin Confederation. Jeez, I'm terrible at English. The mech warriors who hail from the Kapalin Confederation are dedicated to dedicated and steadfast combatants capable of holding the line hold the line and often surprising those opponents who make the mistake of underestimating them. The Capellan Confederation has suffered the most at the hands of the, successors, of the other successor states over the last two centuries of war, having lost nearly half of its territory it once controlled at the heights of the Star League's rule. Over time, the leadership of House Leo, the Leo, has transformed the Capellan Confederation into a socialist uh, police state with a highly regulated economy. Most Capellans take great pride in their citizenship, 
which must be earned through service to the state. The Magistry of the Caponus. Mech warriors who hail from the Magistry of Caponus. Pus. Canopus. Can run the gamut of skill in fighting styles, but they often favor clever and unorthodox tactics on the field. While smaller than the great successor states of the Inner Sphere, the Magistry of Can Canopus is one of the major powers of the Rim World. Rim Ward. Oh, it's not Rim World. Rim Ward. Perlapti. The Magistry is a patriarchal society led by the Magistrix. <laughs> this is an elected position open to any woman, but largely controlled by House Delentrila. Due to the family's popularity, the Magistry supports open society and that ensures the personal liberties of the, all citizens and the rights to live as they see fit. We're almost done, guys. We're almost done. The Turin Concordat. Mech warriors who hail from the Turian Concordat tend to be stubborn and aggressive. They can be quick to anger, but they are nonetheless skilled, perceptive combatants. Founded as a constitutional monarchy under the leadership of the House Alderan, the Turin Concordat is the strongest military power of the Rim world Perlazzi. It is also one of the oldest surviving realms of human civilization, having been formed long before the creation of the Star League. Turin citizens enjoy extensive freedoms granted by the Concordant Charter, take pride in defending those freedoms through compulsory service. The Turian Concordat has long had an, an, oh, an antagonistic relationship with the Inner Sphere, particularly with the Federation Sons. Oh, hey, the Rim World Furlafi. There is no easy way to char characterize mech warriors hailing from the Rim World Ward Furlafi. They can be anything from petty thugs to ruthless tacticians and to skilled and honorable warriors. The nation in minor noble houses of Rimworld have long played a role in shaping humanity. The Star League's downfall began in the Prophecy, eventually leading to the current tattered states of these disparate star systems on the edge of known space. The Prophecy is still the galaxy's frontier where the great houses of the Inner Sphere play deadly politics. Petty bandit kingdoms thrive, and pirate bands prey on the minor noble houses, trying to survive in the hostile environment. And then the deep perlifty. Mech warriors that hail from the deep perlifty are rare, but even rarer is the mech warrior who emits such an origin. Beyond the, uh, beyond the outmost edges of fantasy lie the depths of space that remain uncharted and unknown to most of human civilization. Little is known about these regions but they are far from uninhibited. The deep prophecy is littered with abandoned colonies and small outposts, isolated from the rest of humanity. After the fall of the Star League, General Alexander Harisky led the rem re remnants of the Star League Defense Force into the deep prophecy, disappearing from the inner sphere and from recorded history. All right, I am going to go with one of these two, and I'm thinking this one because of dragons. I am of noble birth. What? Why am I of no noble birth? Did I pick a noble house? Through the immigrants to the Argon Reach, your family soon established a comfortable presence in a small backwater system on the edge of Argon space. By the time you were born, your family has become the de facto ruling nobility of the system's only inhabited planet. You are the oldest child, heir to the family's titles in ancestral battle mech. An old blackjack BJ <laughs> BJ1. This is the this is where you met Raju Mastiff Matagomery, a veteran of the Secession Wars who your parents hired on for a, session, a season to train you as a mech warrior. Raju was a strict, capable teacher, and you quickly became a skilled pirate under his tutorage. It was an uneventful life. You know, I'll take it. 
<sighs> until the day after your 16th birthday when you were exiled. Once the promising young scion of your family, you committed unforgettable transgression in your sentence to a life of exile. You stole away from the family's blackjack and set off to find uh, a life of your own. Gunnery plus one, tactics plus one. Struck out on your own. Uh, as an animal family, you grew up wanting for nothing, and it turns out you couldn't stand for the life of pampered nobility. Finally, one night you stole away from the blackjack and set off to your new life. High and lean tactics. Family was bankrupt. As you grow older, you watch your family's fortune, income, and influence slowly dwindle away until there was nothing left. Your parents, driven to despair, took their own lives. You were left with nothing but your blackjack left to call in your own. Plus one taxes, one guts. Uh, your family died in an accident. The rest of your family died in a freak jump ship accident. Afterwards, you discovered they had left nothing behind but piles of debt. After selling everything to sell your debt yourself, with your blackjack in your name. One pile in one guts. Your family was betrayed. Your family uh, was betrayed and see a power destroyed. You are defeated by the betrayers. You, de uh, you defeated the betrayers, but you were the sole surviving member of your house. You have nothing but your blackjack. You left all your own self to make a life for yourself. Gunnery and guts. I don't know what any of these stats are. So, I, so we got gunnery, guts... Piloting tactic themes. Uh, I'm gonna guess that gunnery affects your damage or your accuracy. Tactics, um, um, I don't know what tax would be. Tactics would be. Um. These. And then guts. Guts, I'm guessing, is health. Piling would be dodge skill, I'm guessing. And maybe action points? Can I get piloting and gunnery? No, I can't. Yeah, I think I'm gonna go with family was betrayed. Out on your own, you fell into a life of a coalition soldier. Unsure of your prospects, you traveled to Palmadir, the capital of the Oregon Coalition. You enlisted in the coalition, you quickly rose through the ranks. Uh, so, soldier. Frontier pirate. Tired of living on the authority of others, you fell in with a local pilot game in the Wim world. Unruly crew, blah 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 blah, one guts. Gladiator. You took the skills of Mech Warrior and framed Arena on the planet Solaris 7. There you ecked out a living as a gladiator, fought in a cr uh, crowd of minor arenas, getting by paycheck to paycheck gunnery. The so gunnery, gunnery, cool. Intersphere mercenary, eager. Join up with the uh, minor Innisphere mercenary unit. Integrating into the tight knit crew took some time, but you eventually proved yourself worth and became part of the family. Frontier freelancer and merchant guard. So I took gunnery guts. I know what I obtained, but I don't want to be a merchant guard. We can go again into gunnery, I think. Yeah, let's go into that. Until years later, you cross paths with Raju Mastiff Montgomery once again. You were a low-level champion, down in your luck, and one bad fight away from the gutter. Until Raju heard about you, he trekked all the way to Solaris and offered you passage back to the Argon Reach in a job in the house Aran over a little guard. So it is that so it is that you find yourself reunited with your old mentor, preparing to your ancestral blackjack for guard duty on coronation day of Lady Kamiya Arano. Okay. I am Dragonfire. First name Dylan. And I'll put last name R. I am a 
Okay, you can be he, you can be she, or you can be a they. Alright, I'll be he. Um, it says customize. So do we get to like customize our own? No customize. Ah, okay, we get to customize our own. Cool. Uh, makeup. I can't have no. Please no makeup. I just have none. Okay, I think one is none. Tattoo. I will go none. Jar. Uh, okay, let's see if I can find myself. There's a couple scars that are close to mine, actually. I had a facial face facial reconstruction surgery when I was younger, so I have a pretty pretty large scar around that area of my face. Uh, hairstyle. Oh, geez, what would my hairstyle be? Oh, I can't rotate around, so. Hmm. I like that hairstyle. Eyebrows. I have pretty chunky eyebrows. That's quite close to my eyebrows. Facial hair. Yes. Need my goatee. It started off on a goatee, but let's see if I can find another one. Nope. Okay. Expressions. That's fine. Complexion. Alright. My hair color. There we go. Pretty much just that. Eyes, I always have trouble picking my eye color out. Skin. I am the whitest boy you can see. Lips. Okay, so it's just, that's none. I thought that was black. Makeup, I don't have any makeup. Alright. Okay, you can rotate yourself around. Clothing. Yeah, there we go. Call that me. Dragonfire Dillinar. My character. I have gunnery four, piling two, tactics two, guts three. I am a he. Dillinar Dragonfire. Your character background. Decades ago, your family came to the Argon Reach from the Arconis Combine. The day after your 16th birthday, your family was betrayed and murdered, and you left out on a life of your own and fell into the life of the Solaris Gladiator. Wow. 23 minutes in, and we just finished character customization. The High Lord Tam Tamato Arona 2 is dead. The Argon Reach is left at uncertain crossroads. Once prosperous, it is now a kingdom in decline, surrounded by its powerful neighbors. Lord Santiago Espinosa, brother-in-law to the late Lord High Lord, is convinced that the slow-moving council of found founding houses must be dissolved. His postponed I can't read that fast. However, the High Lord's heir, the noble Lady Camara Arano, is determined to rebuild the Reach without tra uh, transforming it into an authoritarian state. She refuses to enact her un uncle's directive, and he has rebunked his stuff. Okay. On the morning of Lady Ar Arano's accession to the ascension to the throne, her loyal captain of the guard, Raju Mestrif, makes preparations to escort her safety coronation in the, f in the city. <laughs> can't read that fast. Coronation Day, 8.53 local time. Flamers, small lasers, and machine guns automatically fire after melee attacks. Just me and my Blackjack BJ-51.
Three Worlds League is the oldest successful state, founded in the House Mark in 2271. Prepping for combat. Ooh, oh, it's not responding. Every time this game loads, it does it goes into not responding. But then it pops back in. I have it running in windowed mode right now, so I wonder if I pop it in full screen. Oh, begin mission. If I pop it in full screen, it'll be better. Command interface initiated. There I am. Okay. Button QE to rotate the camera. Okay, Dragonfire, I had a had the Espinosa Retiv Yards rush the repairs on your blackjack. Looks like it's all in one piece, but we should run some diagnosis on it just to be sure. Standard field test. You know the drill. More importantly though, I want to tell you more about the job I brought you here out to do. Now, do me a favor and get that battle mech moving. Let's see if there's any kinks in the actuators. Alright. I'll come right out and say it, kid. I wasn't completely honest with you the other day. There's gonna be more to this job than escort duty. We move there. Oh, I got the direction I look in. It looks that way. Yeah. Oh, I thought I was just gonna knock that tree down. Brought you here because there's something wrong with the capital. It's been too quiet since High Lord Tamati's funeral, and I'm worried about Lady Camille. Amiya's safety during the coronation. Anyways, it looks like your attributes check out. Let's conduct a weapons test. Target one of those burnt out old urban mechs and fire. Like I was saying, I can't prove anything. But my gut tells me something's off. And a warrior trusts their instincts. Fire. All weapons I'm so good. Good shot. Your guns are in working order, at least. Good little tank. I've been training Lady Arano since she was 14 years old. She can be naive at times and proud, but I have no doubt that she'll just be... Ah, that she'll be a just and effective ruler. It's on us to see her safety to Ordea City. I'll rest easier once she's in the capital with her cousin Victoria by her side. Hey Victoria, well she's just, well she's only been training under me for a single season, but she's already shaped herself into the strongest mech warrior I've seen. Reminds me a lot of you, truth to be told. Anyways, we should check, run a check on your targeting computer. See that drone over there, the one that's moving through the tree line. Put some hunt, uh, some hurt on it for me. And when it, it turns, and then when it turns, take out the rear angler shot. Oh, take it out for a rear angle shot. After that, keep it moving. Me is like a daughter to me, and her late father, High Lord Tamati, was a good friend. All weapons committed. Victoria pulls no punches, but she's been a loyal companion to Kamea since they were kids. Aside from you, there's no one I'd rather have by my side in a fight. So I keep fighting with... Oh, I can kind of turn off, turn off things here? Yeah, okay. Alright, well, no point. Let's just fire everything. Enemy unit destroyed. Whoa! Nice shot. Now, I don't know how familiar you are with the arguing politics, but the Reach was badly shaken by High Lord Talmud, Talmati's death. It needs a smoother transfer of power, and Kamiya belongs on the Omar and throne. Oh, oh my god, it's so hard. Uh, go up ahead and fire your jump jumps, kid. I want to see your, you descend this cliff face. Aim for that patch of ground there. Alright. You, you, look you, look that way. Jump jets. Enemy detected. 
Hit heat critical. Yeah, I was afraid of that. Jump jets build a lot of heat, and that was more than your engine could handle. Head on into that water. We need to get you cooled off. Oh, so I just walk into the water? Keep both of them in target. Warning, plasma leak detected, jump jets my function, jet jump systems damage, system inoperable until unit repair. Oh, for the love of God. This is why I was insisting on a rush job. Not that I had much of a choice. The Esponus rift yards were backlog like you wouldn't believe. It looked like they were trying to process every single Royal Guard mech in time for the coronation. There isn't any time to get your jets replaced, so we're just gonna have to make do without them. Go ahead and take out Take that mech down for melee attack. I want to make sure nothing else is going to break down on your blackjack before we move out. Injuries. A pilot can get injuries. And attack. Nice turn, kick it. Yeah. Good hit, at least it's that solid. All right, one last test. I want you to take your uh, your blackjack up to a sprint and evade my attack. Push that engine, kid. If something goes wrong today, I want to know that your mech can maneuver. Sprint. And is he gonna take a shot at me? Oh, okay. I thought it was gonna be like an Overwatch type thing from a uh, what's it called XCOM, but no, gives me a dodge buff. Congratulations, Dragonfire! Your blackjack as combat ready. Your blackjack as combat ready as it can be, given the circumstances, was worth. I hope my suspicions turns out to be unfounded, and we end the day having a good laugh about how what a paranoid old man I've become. But if not. Then I know you'll be ready. All right, time to move out. An impressive display, Sir Raju. Of course, this mech warrior was a student of yours. I'd expect them to know their way around a cockpit. Uh, excuse me. Kind of offensive. Don't talk about my cockpit that way. Dragonfire, allow me to introduce Cam. Mia Arano, the soon-to-be High Lady of the Oregon Coalition. Is Lady Victoria on this channel? For the time being, my father has summoned me to the Picton Docks. I have a fleet inspection and a tour of the family rept yards. Side over before the coronation. Behold the responsibilities of the noble daughter. A fount of tedium that never runs dry. I know the feeling, cousin. By this time tomorrow, I'll be responsible for the entire reach. Give my best to your father, and don't be late for the tourney. The gambling dens are already taking bets on how long it'll take me to cripple that custom, customized monstrosity pilot. Old wards, cousin! But the only victory they'll be celebrating is mine. You may be ascending to the throne today, but my Kaga is more than a match for the family heirloom that you call Battle Mech. And in the arena, I reign supreme. We'll see, cousin. We'll see. At any rate, I'll see you at the tourney grounds. Sir Raju, I'm ready when you are. Overland along the Commodate Road as the Arano tradition. Aye, Camilla. We'll get you there in one piece. Dragonfire, fall behind me. And remember what I told you. Mission successful. Wow. We're that, we're that great. And there's a lot of reading in this game, I can already tell. Um, I never played Shadowrun. I like I played it, but I didn't really play it too much. So I wasn't too sure about uh, how I remember dialogue. the Regan oh. Reach of old, the time of the great expansion. I was just a boy then. Proudly we went forth bringing the light of our coalition to so many systems. 
And for what? To see our great kingdom slowly waste away? Year after year, the council deliberates while our economy falters, and the wolves bay at every door, while covetous neighbors plot against us. Well, I say it can go no further. We are here today because if Lady Orano will not act, someone must. Bold. I know what I'm asking of you. You will face former comrades, or even loved ones, on the battlefield. I take up arms against my own niece. But remember, today we sacrifice so that tomorrow we can return our kingdom to its proper glory, to its proper strength. So should you fall tonight, know that you did so as true heroes of the Reach. To your stations, for the Directorate! All right. So, guess there's attack. Guess Raju was right. Uh, as for how long these episodes are going to be, it's going to vary. I'm going to aim for like around the 40 minute mark, but they can possibly go up to an hour because if I'm in the middle of a mission, I'm going to finish that mission before ending the episode. I don't want to end in the middle of a mission. Um, unless they have like fucking two hour missions or something like that. But yeah, if, um, yeah, so this will be the last mission of this episode, and then I'll end it there. I'm not responding. Oh, just get me into combat. Like, I like, this, I like story in games and stuff like that. It's hard. It's English reading. Oh, we're just reading in general, out loud. Something I struggle with. Give me math and numbers. Please. Please respond. Okay. I'll begin mission. Oh, there we go. Command interface initiated. All right. I'm going to miss this, Raju. The clarity of purpose I feel in the cockpit of a battle mech. The slim simplicity of it. But there they are, just up ahead. The city gates and my future all laid out before me. Wait, what's that smoke? A guard post. One of the small ones, that dot on the road leading to the capital. But the emergency band's been quiet all morning. I haven't heard anything about any fire. This is damned odd. And I don't like it. Kid, keep your head on a swivel and be ready for anything. Hello? Thank you. Hello. Um, I don't know if I should do what I'm thinking, but I'm thinking of keeping the princess in the back. But, eh. They keep talking about how she's a good fighter, so might as well uh, bring her up. Now, I've seen something like mechs down there or something like that. So me up front. Come on, let's be honest here. I'm the most expendable. Some sort of explosion looks recent too. You think it was an accident? No chance. You see those scorch marks on the rubble? That's a laser fire. We need to get you out of here, Kamiya, right now. Yes, I think you're right. 
There's a patrol of Royal Guard mechs up ahead. We should go to them. Whatever's happening here, I won't let it derail your coronation. Your people need you. Thank you, Raju. I will prove myself worthy of the faith you've placed in me. That right. I have no doubt. So, how much you guys want to bet Raju dies? Mia obviously doesn't die, I think. Um, I He's got pretty major Roger plot that. armor because we know in the Your end she wins. No, oh, I'm gonna go through the base up here. Get some high ground, you know? Can I not? Okay, well, fine. Roger. Oh, I got cover. That's cool. Hail, Mastiff. Hail, Lady Arano. We are preparing for Lady Arano's coronation parade. When we got word of the disturbance along the Commandant Road. The guard post behind us was attacked. Sir Raju found evidence of laser fire. Is the road behind you clear? Aye, all the way to the southern gate. Lead the way, Sir Raju. We'll fall in behind you. Tell me something, guardsman. If the road's clear, why is your battle mech damaged? Our mechs are overdue for maintenance, but that isn't important right now. We need to worry about Lady Arano's safety. These guys... So I thought these guys might not be good, so that's why I have myself up here. Um, Our mechs are overdue for maintenance. Okay, alright, so it's now Lady. If you come with us. No, you're lying to us. It's my coronation day. No mech tech would have sent you out here for parade duty in that condition. I am your sovereign, sir. You will tell me what happened here. Damn it, girl. We don't have time for this. Take them, kill the old man and the, uh, and the mech warrior, but take Lady Arano alive. Fall back, Kamea. Get behind us. You didn't train me to cower, Rashu. You trained me to fight. Okay. Alright, so me... I don't... What? Why can't I move? Uh, different mech moves in different phases, layer units, great. Oh, okay. I've got your back. Okay, I see. So, in bat, once we get into actual combat, we can't, um... We can't just go in any order. Once we get into a a a actual combat, there's, like, speed and that that comes into play. Alright. You're more damaged. Um, we have no heat or anything, so let's just fire up everything. All weapons are go. Yeah. Damn you for making me do that, son. Damn you. Boom. You may unlock. Doctor exposed. No. Okay, so I see. Um Yes, I hear you. I don't see actually. I thought I was picking one to go first, one to go second. Fire everything. Oh, he lost his arm. Injured the pilot too. His butt is scratched. Standing by. Ooh, do I melee attack him? Yeah, let's just go Copy melee that. attack him. Princess is gonna smack him in the go face. He has no arms. It's just a flesh wound. <laughs> Orders. <laughs> aye, aye. Oh my god. All the all the memes. 
Um. Let's just fire that. Okay, hey, that wasn't enough to take him down. He's literally just. Oh my god. That shot went internal. Oh. Just beat the shit out of him. I'm on my way. Die! I missed! I can't believe that just happened. I can't believe it either. I missed. No, um, how can I... No, I don't... Do I have to move? Do I have to move? Oh, For sure? Let's shoot him in the back. Nice job, kid. One fewer hostile on the board. Mia, Mia, can you hear me? Alexander, we were just attacked. The Royal Guard, my own guardsmen, tried to take me prisoner. It's happening here too. The Royal Guard are killing one another in the halls. Lord Corosa's house guard just got gunned down in front of me. The turning pavilion is a slaughterhouse. I won't let these senators or whoever they are steal my birthright. We need to rally every loyalist we can find and make a push on the capital. I'll take the phone by force if I have to. Go to Rotura Township to the armory. Your soldiers are using it as a rallying point. I heard the Dalmas Salad sent his house guard there a few minutes ago. Someone's here. I have to move. Rally what forces you can and meet us at the turning ground. Be safe. You heard him, Mastiff. We'll go there. Rally our fighters and march from the south gate. Mia, I know you you and Lord Madri are friends, but we can't take what he told you for faith right now. We don't know who we can trust. In this case, we do. Alexander has been my closest friend and confidant for as long as I can remember. His loyalty is beyond question. I trust him with my life and yours. Now take me to the armory, as you command, my lady. Traitors in the guard. And I fear this is only the beginning. That way? Follow me. Keep close and remember your training. Things are likely to get ugly between here and there. Oh, enemy contact. Up. We've got company. We've got company. Ooh, that's not good. Oh yeah, I can't use jump jet. I was like, I can jump up that mountain and get the high ground. Ooh. Oh. You've got my attention. Jesus, massive. Oh, just fucking fire everything. Here we go. I killed it with the first shot. Brave, I'll give you that much. Oh no. He shot the rock. <laughs> We're safe. Uh, you have my attention. Does she have like Does she have like uh, artillery or something? Can she fire because she can fire over this mountain? multi-target I don't know the laser to hit what's this okay well, let's just do this I'll make it happen. learn oh okay never mind Never mind. I thought maybe I would hit the rock in front of me. Orpia.
All right, dragon fire. Get to move there. I'm so far in the back though. May fire. Jeez. I'm hitting everything. <laughs> oh, I missed one. And it was a pretty solid miss. Talk to me. Don't want to move too, too far up. Got him. Never stood a chance. Oh no. No, no. We're too late. I need to move up. I'm on it. Need to group up a little bit more. So we can't just send massive running in. I'll go in first this time. Follow my lead. I'm on the move. Camilla, Camilla, do you read me? It's Espinosa, your uncle, do you hear me? House Espinosa is uprising the throne. My uncle, Victoria. Camilla, I just watched an Espinosa battle mech plow through an alley full of civilians. It's happening, it's happening now. Your loyalists have fallen back to the market district. That's where they're making their stand. What's left of the Royal Guard is doing their best, but there's something wrong with their battle mechs. Wait, that sound- oh god. Alexander! Silver Camilla, your ascendancy, our Gorio legacy, all of it. Gorio, what have you done? You know, Camilla, for years I loved you like a sister, but then my father helped me see it. The family's complimented with me. What it's done to the Reach, our nation dwindles like a dying star, and how Serrano is the same. My father offered you a path to glory. I have fought under your banner proudly, served as strong as your right hand. It was like a knife in my heart when you turned him away. Damn it, Victoria. I taught you better than this. You taught me lies. Mia, for the love of one of that I once bore you, I'm going to give you a chance to surrender. I'll even spare the old man and his, ba and his mech warrior. If you stand down, I don't want to see you hurt. I cannot allow you to rule. I'll see you hanged for this, Victoria. You and your father both. Do you hear me? You're a traitor to the reach. I'll fight you to the last. Then you truly are a fool. I'll spare you in spite of yourself, but you cost your royal escort their lives. Mini contact. Attention, all Espinosa forces. This is Lady Victoria Espinosa. Lady Arano is to be apprehended and taken alive by my command. Fail to follow these instructions? And you will have me to deal with. Alright. We have cover. Good, good, good. I was hoping. Sensor lock. Action. Selects the target with sensor range. Reveal it until the end of current round. Okay. Fire weapons up to three separate targets with this mech's currently firing arc. I got three weapons. Hmm. No, let's just take one of them down. Try this one. Roger that. LA's left arm, I'm guessing. Damage. Mastiff. 
How is he? I don't know. Oh no. What? The bastard breached my armor. Hmm. Reading loud and clear. Okay, I'm gonna. I'm gonna attack him. I'll do what you ask. Closing into melee range. Knockdown. Is that like a, a skip a turn? I think it's skip a turn. These camera angles, though, <laughs> they can use some work. Oh, no, he just ran through the building. Mastiff is going to go before the guy in front of him. So if we can take out this man, he should be good. Alright, now he's missing both his arms. Incoming transmission. Attention, citizens of Coromadir 6. This is Lord Santiago Espinosa. With the unanimous support of the Founding Houses, I have assumed control of the Oregon Coalition. For your own protection, I urge you to remain calm and stay indoors until otherwise instructed. Style units, stand down, and you have my oath that you will not be harmed. Resist, and you will be fired upon. Okay, so I think his turn's over. Father placed his faith in that man. I gave him my trust. What? Okay. Oh, Neil, now we know. Tell me what you need. Acknowledge. Uh, no, so knockdown doesn't mean stun. He's still active. So it seems you can kill the pilot. I right, just curve stomp him. Engaging physical attack. Head destroyed. Lethal damage on the pilot. Enemy mech destroyed. Kick him when they're down. I'll just punch this man. To hell with the weapon. Mia, do you read me? Alexander, thank God. I thought you were lost when the bombs fell. You really, very nearly did, Camilla. The city is lost. We have to get off this planet. We, we need to do it now. And I'm bound in Comandir. My home, my birthright. The battle's over, Camilla. Lord Madry has the right of it. It's time for you to run, escape this madness, and live to restore another day. You're, you're both right. My uncle's one. The Reach has his. We'll mourn it for it later. The both of us. For now, you need to move. I have a dropship waiting at Shepherd's Pass. I'm on my way there right now. Hurry and meet me there, please. We're on our way. You get to that ship, Alexander. I mean it. We will not lose you and my throne on the same day. That's a, the missions are long in this. I thought this would be like another like 15 minutes. But reserve. This is that made that. You got my attention. Okay, so we need to get there. Okay, there's enemies there. Okay, I see. Roger.
Um, brace. The only thing I have to do is brace. So we'll just bra uh, brace. We'll move up a dragon. Give him a shot. Come on, BJ1. Vehicles like don't stand a chance. Enemy unit destroyed. Mia. You have my attention. Do you have jump jets? Affirmative. I mean, I don't have jump jets because they broke. But do you, I wonder? Hit me a couple times. Damage minimal. Damage minimal. Get out Copy. of here with that weak shit. Copy that. Damn you uh, for making. Oh. Didn't kill it. Died. Close. And we will fire on it with Let's go our lasers. Engaging target. Enemy unit destroyed. Standing by. No, she doesn't have jump jets. Your last chance, cousin. Don't make me order your death. Whoever you must betray her. A headstrong fool to the end. Damn you for this. Captain Haas, destroy them. Mastiff, my cousin, all of them. Leave no survivors. As you command, my lady. My lady. You, you can't hit him? He's pretty... Okay, there we go. So there's two guns and then the Wolverine. Let's see, 95% of chance, chance to hit with everything. Only one can hit there. Or, ooh. Ah, uh, I don't know. Either that one or this one. Let's go. Let's go in the turret. Copy that. Take out a source of damage completely, you know? Target destroyed. That hurt. I gotta kind of leave Mastiff behind. What we got here? Fire everything at Wolverine. Mastiff. You've got my attention.
want to leave you more behind. We'll leave you back Roger here in that. the forest for cover. And what's your attacks on it look like? 90%. We're only attacking with your missiles. Locked on target. So we can use that on the turret. Oh, he's moving out. Is that your best shot? No, oh, just taunt them. I've also learned how to, you know, uh, fire without having to move. You just have to click on attack instead of move. There goes your arm, buddy. Tell me what you need. What's this? Breaching shot. Uh, passive attack, single weapon, ignore cover, and guard it on attack. Target. So we got eight ninety-five percent chance there or just yeah. It's just... For the Oregon Reach. Oregon. LT. Inflicting heavy damage. What's LT? Ooh. My heat sinks can't keep up. Talk to me. What's my heat levels look like? I'm only hitting with one thing anyway. Oh no, it's you haven't been doing much. I think we can attack with one. We gotta let her cool down next turn so we can't really. Dragon. We'll move in a few. His heat, though, is really high. We'll attack you, but we'll turn off all these lasers. What, what if we attack you? Yeah, okay. Much more, much more accurate to attack you. And you just heat. guard. Yeah, get rid of all that heat. Massive. Can you hit? Can you hit him with 65% chance or them with a 90% chance? Go 90 on this one. Ooh, so close to the kill. He missed. You know what? Can I? No, I can't hit him. I, I was just gonna go and smack him. Hey, buddy. Take these lasers. Boom. C T R T. Don't know what the T stands for. I'm listening. Confirmed. We should be able to kill the turret this turn. Um, get rid of the lasers. Get rid of that. Okay, we can. Charging weapons. 
Boom. Target destroyed. Yeah, so there is a warning. So All in behind me. You uh don't I'm moving out. Um There is a warning so you don't overheat yourself. Moving out. We'll all be in the evac zone when we get here, right? Yeah. Thank God you made it, Camilla. Captain Halvacine's prepping the engines now. In another five minutes, we're ready to depart. Five minutes is a long time. Dragonfire, you see Lady around us to the dark and wrap. If she's aboard, come back to me. We'll hold this pass for whoever comes. Thank you, Sir Rasio. Thank you both. I won't forget what you've done for me today. I mean... I promise you that. Run over there yourself? All units advance. I want you to take down that dropship. Destroy everyone and everything that stands in your way. Alright, Dragonfire, I've trained you for this. We'll fight side by side, watch each other's backs. Above all else, we'll keep Lady Arano safe. Protect the dropship, that's all that matters. Warning. Engine heat critical. Warning. Error. Shutdown initiated. Error. Reactor offline. Weapons offline. Systems inoperable. Double up your blackjack, Dragonfire. Shame. That's happened to a lot of Royal Guards mech lately. You have a numbers on us, and you resort to sabotage, and you're gloating about it, you've got no honor. This is a little brat. Not you nor your backstabbing father. Shut your mouth, old man. My father's a great man, and I swear to all gods you will suffer if you insult him again. Your father is a coward, and so are you. Dragonfire, I want you to eject now. Punch out. You're no good to anyone in a broken mech, and I won't let you die today. Eject the mech warrior now. That's an order. Now, come for me, Victoria. Your teacher is waiting. Come and show me what you've learned. Mission successful. Hold your ass, Stein. Yeah, that ar architect file uh, feeling to me. Oh my god, this is a long episode. <laughs> this one has a lot of. This episode has a lot of like filler to it though, so makes sense. We had to do the tutorial, character customization, beginning cutscenes. So like take out all that and just throw in like bit of story and like the bit of story and the um the mission. We're looking at like forty minutes. So I think we're I think this game's I think the initial time we had is good. Great warrior has fallen. Hmm. I don't know if they shot down our dropship or just said they shot it down. Either way, I know we lived. Eight hours later, high orbit, Commodore. All right, we're gonna end the episode here, and I'll talk to you all next time on Battletech.